Welcome back to the channel everyone. I couldn't do it anymore. It was just too hot and I think you guys get the point, right? I'm being silly, but you know what? I decided to pick up a rabbit costume and I picked it up for eight bucks in liquidation and I got it and I just had this great idea. I was going to wear it in front of you guys. Don't ask me why. Um, but now it's going to be hard for you guys to take me seriously. I think I've been watching liquidation videos since uh, 2018 when I started to get ramping up the, the liquidation stuff I was buying. And there is a handful, not everyone, but there's a handful of resellers, influencers on YouTube that was really coming out with one message and one strong message. And that was, it's about how many items you're listing, right? That kind of determines the success. And like most people, I kind of bought into it, right? And I was always down on myself if I didn't list X amount of items in a day. And uh, I didn't even really, you know, consider how well I did with my sales, right? And ultimately, it got me to thinking, you know, once we created this channel back in 2020, it got me to thinking that uh, that message... While there is some truth to you should be listing, you should be getting your items up, you should be replenishing your stock, it's not so much about how many items you're listing, it's about how much value you're putting into your store. My ASP is at $60.75. That includes shipping. So whether you're offering free shipping or shipping uh, being charged after the fact, um, that's the average. So $60.75 including shipping. Whereas on my other account, um, I'm averaging for the first six months, $17.47, and that includes shipping, okay? Um, the sales difference, uh, I think 959 sales in the uh, six-month period on value trends, which is actually down from last year when I had about 600 items in that main store, and I only ran that main store for the most part of last year uh, for that same time frame. So I'm making 58,000 in sales, which is up 38.9% as of compared to last year on this very same account. Now, we're not selling the same stuff. And in fact, my average sales price being at $60.75 is up 40, was it 43.8%? That's outstanding, okay? Now, that's what works for me because I broke out of this mentality that you have to list a thousand items a day. I'm just exaggerating, of course, no one can do that and no one should be aspiring for that. But uh, the mindset was always, man, I really didn't do a good job today because I didn't get at least 10 listed. And you guys know my, my listing um, setup is such where I have a lot of things to do with liquidation, a lot of testing, a lot of uh, cleaning, a lot of staging. It's not a five minute list and you're done process. Uh, not like if you're dealing with clothing. Uh, clothing is a much faster deal. Um, shoes are fast, but you still have a lot of cleaning to do when you're dealing with that. So I had a lot of shoes and stuff. Uh, the end of last year that uh, we incorporated into the store. But the the mindset was simply just, in my opinion, just the wrong mindset, okay? Um, you see these stores that have thousands upon thousands of items. And you are kidding yourself if you think those items just appeared overnight. That is a lot of money. If you're talking over 10,000 items in your store, you're talking about a lot. I don't even care if you're getting them at a real good deal at the bins. That's a lot of money, okay? You're investing over a long period of time, a huge investment, and uh, an investment that one would probably be better in the long run just simply investing, um, you know, in you know commodities or whatever rather than investing in dollar trinkets and uh, stuff you find at the bins that uh, you th end up throwing in storage and you're not getting the list anyway for a matter of months, maybe years. And once you do, you're dealing with, I think, maybe a lot of these stores. I do a lot of research when I'm looking at uh, stores uh, other than my own. And, you know, you're looking at, in some cases, like one out of every 500 items listed, you're getting a sale. So you might get 100 sales in a day if you have uh, four to five, well, sorry, 40 or 50,000 items in your store, 
Um, and how much, how are you going to store all that? I mean, not everyone's set up to store that huge amount of inventory. And uh, I'm certainly not. And if that was the only choice that I had to make, if I wanted to make this work as a full-time living, which I do, by the way, then I would have to really scale up as far as maybe get a warehouse, which of course is more, a lot more expenses, a lot more overhead, or even a larger house, which is still a lot more overhead because the house is going to cost more. Um, dealing with a three bedroom house, two car garage right now. And uh, I'd have to get into like a five bedroom house with two living rooms, one designated for inventory or listing area along with my garage. It would be a mess. And uh, so option B is instead of buying all these low cost, low return items, I'm buying stuff that uh, is still low cost, maybe more pain in the butt, maybe more to work with, maybe more um, stuff that's kind of off the wall, like this stupid outfit that I'm wearing. But guess what? Um, this outfit, I think, uh, sells new for like 80, 90 bucks. And they didn't come with this, the gloves. The, that's, they return these without the gloves. Who returns a rabbit costume without the gloves? I don't understand that. I mean, the booties, they're still in the bag. Um, it looks like they bought it, kind of took the gloves out and said, we're sending it back. So here I am, I'm wearing this thing. Um, of course, um, I'm going to probably resell this, but I could probably get about 50 bucks for it, even without the stupid gloves. Um, I'm into it for eight bucks. That's an, that's an easy flip, but I just thought, you know what? Might as well get it. Let's be a little silly. Let's uh, have it for the, one of the videos. And uh, let's just uh, come on the show, uh, lighten things up a bit because I'm not in here, I'm not attacking anyone. Look, if you want to have as many items as you can possibly fit in your household, your storage unit, your warehouse, and just set the record for the number of items listed on eBay, knock yourself out. I'm not gonna ever dog that. In fact, I admire the people that actually have that kind of wherewithal to put such a large store together and keep your defect rate low. Finding all that stuff. I mean, I can't tell you how many times Jenna's in here trying to, to ship and she's calling me in here and I can't find this. I can't find that. We're talking 200 some odd items, 250 items in my, my main store, a little over 600 in the other store. And you know what? You think that would be manageable. I cannot imagine having 10x that amount. That's 10x. That's still like what? Uh, like 10,000 items, let alone 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000. I cringe just thinking of it. Um, and then just to maintain all that, you're going to have to have somebody to help you. Um, I mean, Jenna is in here helping me, but by, by all means, she's not doing this full time. I'm the one really doing it full time. Uh, if I'm being honest with you guys and we're making it work. Um, you know, we're dealing with what 13,000 in sales running at about a 50% margin, even with promoted listings. And uh, guess what? It's paying my bills. And, and guess what? I get to go do the things I like to do. It wasn't paying my bills when I made the change. It was to the point where I was going to have to try to figure out ways to supplement my income to make it work. And I'm here to tell you from experience, I'm fired up from this experience um, that it's nice to have money in my bank account again and I don't have to worry. Now, I'm in the middle of the summer, and, and you know a lot of you will say, well, summer just started, but for me, it started at the beginning of June after Memorial Day, because that's generally when people start thinking about spending time outdoors and with their family, and they're not thinking as much as buying online. And historically, I've told you this before, that uh, you know when people do that, most categories on eBay, whether the times are good, whether the times are bad, sales tend to dip. That's just the way it is. But it feels like I found a method that uh, allows me to source, and it's the key, guys. If you can't get past good sourcing, you probably shouldn't do this. And I'm learning this the hard way after a bad 2022. But uh, you know what? Thankfully, uh, I persevered, found some good sourcing, and uh, guess what, guys? It's, in, it's summer. I've had my best month of June ever, $13,000 in sales in June. That's nuts, okay? 
Um, I recall in 2019, just trying to make a $10,000 month stick in the summer was tough. But uh, here we're doing it and we're supposed to be having, you know, problems with the economy and this, that, and the other thing. And it just, and you know, days that feel like, you know what, this might be a bad day. And, you know, it gets started and here comes the sales. And because I have high ASP, I don't need a thousand sales in a day. And I say that I keep exaggerating, but you know what I mean? I don't need a ton of sales in a day to make what I need to make. At $60 average sale, um, you know, all I need to do is make like six or seven sales in a day and I'm good, okay? Because half that's going to expenses, the other half's going in my pocket. Make this, I'm making right now more money than I was making um, in my corporate job uh, running my own department, okay? I was making $75,000 a year. I am on pace because um, I'm, ca I'm canceling out the month of January. Between both accounts, I'm on pace to exceed that, just the way it's working. Um, $13,000 months. Uh, not every month's going to be 13000 but you know, all I got to do is ramp up what I'm doing just a little bit, and things are going to get better. So I guess the takeaway from this whole message is not to brag, because it's certainly not a brag. There's people doing a lot better than me out there, okay, that are killing it out there. And uh, that's my point. It isn't about me. It's about that the fact that people are doing well on eBay right now. And just because you're not doesn't mean you can't, okay? And the only way you're going to succeed is to make a drastic change. Now, what does that change? I don't know, but it has to do with one thing. It has to do with your sourcing. And it has to do with getting out of this mentality that if you list 10 buttons today or 75 buttons today or uh, 100 postcards or uh, you know 50 shirts that suddenly you've done everything you need to do and everything's going to be all right. I'm here to tell you that uh, your focus needs to be more on how much value you're putting in your store and I don't care what you're selling. I mean um, you, you should if you want to stick with selling the, the same thing you've been selling for like the last 10 years go ahead but just know that eBay is, and the market with eBay is evolving all the time. I mean, it's right before our eyes evolving. And some people can see it, and some people are just lost. They cannot see how, or understand how the thing that they were selling four or five years ago just ain't selling at the same rate or in the same way that it was. And they're oh so hopeful that um, they can keep doing what, they did four or five years ago and they're going to make the same kind of money. And I'm here to tell you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, stupid costume or not. Um, I think that formula has passed us by and it's more about getting higher ASP stuff to put in our stores. Now, uh, that's what I'm doing and I'm not here to tell you that it's not gonna work for you if you don't do it that way. There's many ways to skin a cat, but I'm here to tell you it's something you should really consider because it is a winning formula. If you don't believe me, ask Tommy Bernard. Uh, he's um, he is always on the live and he's pretty much echoing a lot of the same things I'm saying with the promoted rates, with uh, sourcing properly, buying good stuff and having a high ASP average sales price. And that's the winning formula. So I'm not here to tell you how. That's your job to figure that part out. And for some, you're never going to be able to do it because the resources just aren't available to you. But for others, I think we are so oblivious to opportunities, like just like me, and I'm only speaking from my experience, that being oblivious to opportunities that are right underneath our nose and we're so stubborn, like me, and stuck in our ways that we just don't see it. So that's my message to you. And uh, the, the goal here is not to offend anyone. Um, it was just simply to come on here and get you guys fired up to and to show you my own personal stats to back up what I'm saying. And if you don't believe that I can make $13,000 in a month with less than 250 items listed, go check out my account value trends and see for yourself. Look at the sold comps. I don't hide my sales, okay? Um, some, some channels out there hide their sales. I have no reason to lie or hide. Guys, you guys were with me. Those have, we have 20,000 strong. As I'm making this video right now, I think we just turned over 20,000. Um, those of you who've been with me know the tribulations I went through in 2022 
and uh, can attest to, I wasn't talking like this at all back then. I'm talking about this right now because it's working, guys. And I see the light and I see six months worth of data. And I just want to share that information with you, the mindset with you that uh, I can do it and I'm selling junk still. And then my junk just has higher ASP, guys. And you can do it for the same reasons. But it starts with sourcing. Start fixing your sourcing and your store will be fixed thereafter. Your success on eBay will show an improvement. Trust me. Other people have been doing it and it's been working for them too. So guys, what do you think of the video? If you enjoyed the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that notification bell so when we go live, like we're going to do tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific, we're not doing it Friday, we're doing it tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time, that's Thursday, uh, because you might be watching this on Thursday, who knows, it's Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, and uh, we're going to have a good time, but we're going to have the 20,000 subscriber uh, live stream on Monday at its normal time, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. And we're going to do some giveaways. I think we're going to do, uh, I think I'm going to have like a $100 gift card. Uh, don't know how we're going to give it away yet. Uh, but we're also going to have some other uh, uh, prizes that we're going to uh, give away that uh, have been donated by our kind sponsors. So just some cool things we're doing and I want you to be a part of it. So guys, Sometimes it's easier said than done, and I can tell you, I was always up here telling you my sourcing was horrible. I ain't saying that now. I fixed that problem, and it ain't about listing uh, as many items as you can in a day. Um, for me, 5 to 10 to 15. 15 is probably my max in a day, and I'm a happy guy, and guess what? Um, those sales are happening, but uh, to figure all this out, and I can tell you from experience that flipping ain't easy. And I want you guys to have an excellent rest of your day. And we will talk to you very soon.